Why people lie and how to catch a liar. From the smallest white lies to the grandest schemes, dishonesty has been a part of human history since time immemorial. But what drives individuals to bend the truth? Is it fear, the desire for self-preservation, or perhaps the allure of maintaining a perfect image? We're about to delve deep into the psychology of lying, exploring the fascinating motivations behind this complex human behavior. So, if you're ready to learn ways of reading between the lines and distinguishing fact from fiction, then this video is a ride you won't want to miss. Hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and let's get started. Understanding the psychology of lying. So, what exactly is a lie? Well, a lie is when someone intentionally gives false information or conceals the truth to deceive others. It's like creating a make-believe world where what they say doesn't match what's real. But not all untruths are the same. There's intentional deception, where someone purposely says something false to mislead others. And then there's misinformation, which is when someone innocently passes along incorrect information, often without realizing it's not true. But like everything else, lies come in all shapes and sizes. Let's take a look at a few types to see how complex dishonesty can be. White lies. The innocent little white lies. We've all told them, and they're usually meant to spare someone's feelings or avoid unnecessary conflict. You know, like when your friend asks, do I look good in this outfit? And you reply, oh yes, you look fantastic. Even if you secretly think otherwise, these lies often come from a place of kindness and don't usually harm anyone. Compulsive lies. Now, here's where things get a bit more serious. Some people have a habit of telling lies without even realizing it. It's like a reflex action for them, and they do it almost automatically. They may exaggerate stories, twist the truth, or even make up things just to impress others or fit in. It's not always easy for them to control this, and it can be quite complicated to spot these compulsive fibos. Pathological lies. Pathological liars take deception to a whole new level. They lie frequently and with purpose, often to gain attention, sympathy, or even manipulate others. The scary part is that they may believe their lies to be true, creating an intricate web of deception that's challenging to untangle. Motivations for lying. Motivations for lying can be as diverse as human nature itself, and understanding why people resort to deception is a fascinating journey into the complexities of human behavior. Let's explore some common reasons why individuals choose to tell lies. 1. To avoid being punished. Perhaps the most common motivation for lying is the fear of facing consequences for one's actions. Both children and adults may resort to deception to escape punishment, whether for a deliberate misdeed or an innocent mistake. 2. To obtain a reward not easily attainable. Another prevalent reason for lying is the desire to gain something that would otherwise be difficult to achieve. For instance, someone might exaggerate their qualifications during a job interview to increase their chances of being hired. 3. To protect others from punishment. Sometimes, people lie not for personal gain, but to shield someone else from facing the consequences of their actions. This selfless motive can occur among co-workers, friends, family, and even strangers. 4. To protect oneself from physical harm. Lying to safeguard oneself from potential harm is a different kind of motivation, as it involves a threat that isn't related to any wrongdoing. For instance, a child alone at home might fib to a stranger at the door, claiming their father is present to deter any potential harm. 5. To seek admiration and validation. People may tell lies to enhance that image and gain the admiration of others. From embellishing stories to fabricating a whole new persona, the desire for social approval can drive deceptive behavior. 6. To navigate awkward social situations. Lying can become a social tool to gracefully exit uncomfortable or dull situations. For example, someone might claim a babysitter issue to leave a tedious party or invent an interruption to end a phone conversation politely. 7. 
To avoid embarrassment, fear of humiliation can lead individuals to tell lies, protecting their dignity in situations where the truth might be uncomfortable. For instance, a child might blame a spilled drink on an external source instead of admitting they had an accident. 8. To maintain privacy discreetly. Sometimes, people lie to preserve their privacy without explicitly stating their intentions. For instance, a couple might claim to have eloped due to financial reasons, concealing the true desire to avoid involving their families. 9. To assert control and power over others. In more troubling scenarios, individuals may use lies as a tool to manipulate and control others, withholding or distorting information to exercise authority. Body language and verbal clues of a liar. Now that we've explored the different motivations behind lying, let's shift our focus to another aspect of deception, the body language and verbal clues that can reveal a liar's true intentions. While words can be deceiving, our nonverbal cues often reveal more than we realize. Nonverbal cues. When it comes to detecting deception, our body language can often betray us, even when our words don't. Keep an eye out for these nonverbal cues that may indicate discomfort or dishonesty. 1. Eye contact or lack thereof. A person who avoids direct eye contact may be feeling uneasy or trying to avoid being caught in their lie. On the other hand, someone who maintains intense eye contact might be overcompensating to appear truthful. 2. Fidgeting and restlessness. Liars may exhibit fidgety behavior, such as tapping their fingers, shaking their legs, or constantly adjusting their clothing. This restlessness can be a sign of nervousness and internal conflict. 3. Posture shifts. Sudden changes in posture, like crossing arms or leaning away, could indicate defensiveness or discomfort with the topic being discussed. 4. Facial expressions. Watch for fleeting expressions that appear and disappear quickly. Raised eyebrows, grimaces, or micro-smiles might reveal hidden emotions that contradict the person's words. Micro-expressions. Micro-expressions are tiny facial expressions that flash across a person's face involuntarily, lasting only a fraction of a second. Though they're hard to spot, they can provide valuable insights into a person's true feelings or intentions. Here's what to look for. 1. Sadness, fear, or anger. A micro-expression of sadness, fear, or anger during a seemingly neutral conversation may suggest that the person is concealing something emotionally significant. 2. Surprise or contempt. These fleeting expressions can reveal surprise at an unexpected question or contempt for the topic being discussed. 3. Concealed emotions. A micro-expression that contradicts the person's overall demeanor may hint at concealed emotions and possible deception. Inconsistencies in speech. A liar's verbal clues can be just as revealing as their non-verbal cues. Pay attention to these signs of dishonesty. 1. Contradictions in their story. Listen for inconsistencies in their narrative or changes in the details they provide. Liars may struggle to keep their story straight. 2. Evasive answers. Watch out for vague or evasive responses to direct questions. A liar might try to divert attention or avoid giving a straightforward answer. 3. Excessive use of fillers. Frequent use of filler words like um, ah, or you know can indicate that the person is trying to buy time to come up with a plausible response. Spotting a liar. Practical tips and techniques. Dealing with deception can be difficult, but here are five easy techniques and tips to make it a breeze. 1. Build report. The foundation of successful lie detection lies in building a strong report with the person you're interacting with. Establishing trust and a comfortable environment encourages truthfulness. When individuals feel at ease, they are more likely to open up and share honest information. 
Simple gestures like maintaining eye contact, using empathetic body language, and actively engaging in conversation can go a long way in fostering trust and making it easier to spot deviations in behavior. 2. Ask open-ended questions. Now, here's a technique that can unravel even the most cunning of liars, asking open-ended questions. Instead of simple yes or no queries, use questions that prompt detailed responses. Open-ended questions force the person to provide more information, making it harder for them to maintain a false narrative. Listen carefully to their answers, as the devil often hides in the details. Watch for inconsistencies or changes in their story as they try to keep up with their web of deception. 3. Listen actively. Ah, the power of active listening, it's not just about hearing the words being spoken, it's about truly comprehending the message conveyed. Pay attention to the person's tone of voice, pitch, and speed of speech. Subtle variations can reveal hidden emotions or discomfort. Be on the lookout for inconsistencies between their words and nonverbal cues. Active listening allows you to pick up on these subtle clues and form a clearer picture of the truth. 4. Observe changes in behavior. Humans are creatures of habit, and deviations from their baseline behavior can be revealing. Take note of any significant changes in the person's demeanor, body language, or speech patterns during your interaction. Drastic shifts might indicate discomfort or even dishonesty. If someone who is usually calm and collected suddenly appears nervous or defensive, it's worth paying attention to what's going on beneath the surface. 5. Watch for defensiveness. When confronted with questions, a liar may become defensive as a natural defense mechanism. Keep an eye out for signs of defensiveness, such as becoming tense, crossing arms, or avoiding eye contact. While some defensiveness can be a natural response, an overly defensive attitude, especially when faced with direct inquiries, can be a red flag for deception. Conclusion. In a world where deception and truth often intertwine, Understanding the psychology of lying and mastering the art of spotting a liar can be a valuable skill. We hope this video was enlightening. If it was, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel for more intriguing content. See you in the next video.